You know, life takes uh, interesting turns. Uh, I was uh, 19 years old when uh, I had to leave India, not because I wanted to, just because uh, I uh, was given away, as I say, in arranged marriage. I landed up in the United States of America with my husband, uh, with barely any functional knowledge of English. And, um, you know, at that point in time, you can do two things. Either you can uh, just uh, cluster yourself in and just say, uh, life is too tough, or you can decide that this is your opportunity and see how you can make the best out of, you, out of it. You have to find that strength and empowerment inside of you, and you have to fight your own battle. To tell you frankly, I think education is a great ladder to social mobility. Lucky for me, my husband was extremely supportive and it became a dream for the two of us as a couple that I should get my highest level of educational degree, which is PhD. Life uh, opens doors, but you have to be ready to take those opportunities. For me, leadership uh, has three very important characteristics. Leaders have to have the ability to dream. And I always believe that it takes as much effort to dream big as it does to dream small, so might as well dream big. Secondly, I would say they always find passion because that's the passion that uh, helps them continue in worst of situations. They refuse to quit, and I think passion has a lot to do with it. But I think third characteristic to me is the most defining characteristic about leadership, and that is humility. You have to know that you have not traveled your journey alone. Actually, nobody does. There are a lot of people who have helped you. You have to realize that now, if you have reached anywhere in life, any place, you have an obligation to inspire others, to motivate others, to help others, because without that, I think your success uh, is not really a true success. I look forward to being in Delhi at the Outlook Speak Out event on September the 28th. I hope to see you there.